vitamin B1, 300 milligrams daily, which is 300 times the RDA, could save your kidneys, according to science. Hello, Catherine from Double Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. There are five vitamins with little known effects on the kidneys, so powerful they could literally save your life and in some cases completely stop the progression of kidney disease. What we are going to see today is a top five of these incredibly powerful vitamins complete with therapeutic dosages and expected and unexpected benefits. Starting with number five, vitamin B1. While vitamin B1 or thiamine is a very well-known essential nutrient, it has an underrated benefit. In fact, you should be probably be supplementing this one if you already aren't. Vitamin B1 is crucial for energy production and it's also needed by the nervous system to work properly. It's mostly found in wholemeal, cereal grains, seeds, especially sesame seeds, but also legumes, nuts, and in a food called brewer's yeast. Now guys, I know that this info about vitamin B1 is nothing new for many of you. In fact, I really hope that most of you guys following me are already taking a multivitamin specific for kidney disease. It's widely accepted that getting the right nutrients can help slowing down the progression of kidney disease. But I promise you some little known facts about vitamins that could save your kidneys, right? Well, a peculiar property of this vitamin has benefits beyond currently recognized health effects. What you don't know yet about vitamin B1 or thiamine is a crucial fact that could literally save your kidneys. According to a study, taking high dose thiamine can protect the kidneys of people with diabetes from damage. Diabetic patients in the early stages of kidney disease treated with high dose or 200 mg of thiamine for just 3 months saw a return to normal urinary albumin excretion. This means that their kidney disease actually regressed. Incredible! The experts say thiamine works by helping protect cells against the harmful effects of the high blood sugar levels found in diabetes. These findings were confirmed in a subsequent study from Pakistan again using 300 milligrams of thiamine each day for three months. None of the participants of the studies incurred in side effects from taking high dose vitamin B1. Researchers also found out that thiamine levels are lower in diabetics and they think this is because the elevated blood sugar causes increased thiamine excretion by the kidney at a rate 25 times higher than normal. This leads to an acute deficiency of thiamine, a very dangerous condition, also known as beriberi. Now guys, I don't know about you, but these two studies really <laughs> left me shocked. I mean, these researchers basically found a way to stop diabetes damage, the leading cause of kidney disease in the world, and people will only need to take a cheap supplement once a day for three months. Why isn't anybody talking about this? Nobody cares about kidney disease and diabetes anymore. Guys, please share the awareness about this info. Send this video now to anyone you know who suffers from diabetes or kidney problems. This is the only way to let people know about this incredible finding. I made a slide here to sum it up. So if you have diabetes or kidney disease, take 1.5 mg vitamin B1 every day in addition to dietary intake, especially important for those in the advanced stages. 
This is the standard dose which is known to support kidney health and it's needed by the body for energy production and brain function. But if you suffer from diabetes and you have kidney disease in the early stages, consult your doctor and find out if you can start taking high dose vitamin B1, 300 milligrams per day, which is 300 times the RDI for this vitamin. And I know that some people are already taking this for diabetes because, well, I found some Amazon reviews of people stating that it helped them. Links to this very cheap supplement are available down in description, but please consult your doctor before taking it. Now guys, I have other 4 vitamins with little known positive effects on kidney health that I want to show you. This one is even more powerful than vitamin B1. It works for people in any stage of chronic kidney disease and it's able to detox your kidneys from uric acid. Number 4. Vitamin C Many vitamins are essential for the health of your kidney, as we are going to see today. But vitamin C is particularly important if you want to detoxify uric acid from your kidneys. High uric acid levels are cause of one of the most painful complications of kidney disease, gout. According to a recent study, vitamin C can detoxify your kidneys from uric acid pretty fast. This will also protect your kidneys from damage. In fact, hyperuricemia or high uric acid levels is common among patients with chronic kidney disease because the kidneys are supposed to get rid of excess uric acid. Gout and inflammatory arthritis that causes excruciating pain is triggered by the crystallization of uric acid within the joints. And when uric acid forms crystals in the kidneys, it may also damage them. So it's very important to take steps to detoxify your kidneys from uric acid if you have kidney problems. And this is where vitamin C can help. Now guys, today's video is all about vitamins that can help your kidneys in incredible ways when taken in an unconventional way. So let's see exactly how much vitamin C you need to detox uric acid and how fast it will work according to science. Now, this is a meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials. It's basically the cream of the crop when it comes to scientific papers. This analysis was done on 13 different studies and 556 people. Now, the interesting part, the researchers concluded that vitamin C supplementation can significantly lower serum uric acid in people with kidney problems. And it took an average just 30 days to see appreciable results. So, just like for vitamin B1, we have different dosages for vitamin C. Vitamin C is usually recommended to people with kidney disease in lower doses than the RDA. 60 mg a day here is a safe choice and can already give you benefits such as lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, better iron absorption, which helps with anemia and a better immunity. Usually, all kidney disease patients are advised to take vitamin C in this dosage. Now, if you want to use vitamin C to detoxify your body from uric acid, the daily dose should be way higher. We are talking about 500 to 1500 milligrams per day here. This is what the review of study on uric acid levels and vitamin C shows. Now guys, this is very important. If you have kidney disease, don't take vitamin C without your doctor consent and without getting tested for vitamin C levels. This nutrient in large dosages may be dangerous if you have kidney problems. It may cause a buildup of oxalate impaired kidneys when able to expel. So be very careful with this one and consult your doctor. Our next entry on the other hand is a vitamin all kidney disease patients should be already taking. Folic acid. Folic acid, also known as vitamin B9, is extremely important for people with kidney disease, especially because it's involved in the production of red blood cells and people with kidney problems really need more red blood cells. Anemia is extremely common and dangerous. 
Even more interesting, according to a recent study, kidney disease patients in stage 3 who took 0.8 mg folic acid per day had a significantly slower progression of kidney disease. Yes, this vitamin can slow down kidney disease and this is a very big study we're talking about. It was conducted on more than 15,000 test subjects over the course of more than four years. And just like for the other vitamins of today's video, the dosage here is extremely important. In fact, 0.8 mg folic acid is two times the RDA for the general population, but luckily for us, this dosage is the currently recommended folic acid dosage for people with kidney disease, so you shouldn't have troubles finding supplements in the right dosage. Your doctor should already have recommended this to you if you have kidney disease in any stage. There are also foods that can help you getting enough folic acid every day. Foods such as leafy greens, asparagus, broccoli, but also seeds, nuts, cauliflower and bell peppers are good sources of it. So absolutely take folic acid if you want to protect your kidneys. And this is almost common knowledge today. What not everyone knows about this vitamin is that it should always be paired with another vitamin of the B group. Now guys, this one is crucial, not just for your kidneys, but for your heart too. Cardiovascular events such as strokes or cardiac arrests are extremely frequent in people with kidney problems. Some researchers now think that the deficiency of one vitamin can be causing them. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin. Just like folic acid, vitamin B12 can help fight anemia. Actually, this vitamin works together in the body with folic acid. The downside is that supplementing folic acid can sometimes hide deficiencies of other vitamins, especially vitamin B12. And as I was saying, vitamin B12 deficiency is associated with increase of death. To make matter worse, this vitamin deficiency is very common. Just in the US, there are more than 3 million cases per year. So how to tell if you have a vitamin B12 deficiency? Apart from some specific symptoms like fatigue, joint pain and dizziness, a B12 deficiency can cause a pale yellowish skin and a sensation like pains and needles in the hand. This is because this vitamin is essential for blood formation as well as brain and nerve function. So can you get enough vitamin B12 from the diet? The best sources of this nutrient are dairy, meat, eggs, and fortified foods. Yes, as you can tell from this picture, it's very hard for people with kidney problems getting enough vitamin B12 every day. These are all foods that someone on a real diet should limit or avoid completely. So the only way to get enough vitamin B12 in kidney diet is to supplement it, maybe taking a multivitamin. Now, the big problem with multivitamins is that they are not safe for people with kidney disease. In fact, while some vitamins like the three B vitamins of today's video and vitamin C are crucial for the health of the kidneys, there are other vitamins such as vitamin K and vitamin A that are very dangerous for people with impaired kidney function. And this makes taking a regular multivitamin a risk. What you should do instead is Number one, take a multivitamin specific for kidney disease. Fact, patients following a renal diet are way more at risk for vitamin deficiencies compared to the general population. And there's no way you can get kidney disease into remission if you're malnourished. Some deficiencies are so common in people with kidney problems, you can almost be sure you have them unless you are specifically supplementing. Vitamin B12, as we have seen, is particularly hard to get because the best sources of this nutrient are dairy and meat, and they're both out of the menu. Vitamin D is even worse. Up to 90% of people in stage 4 kidney disease have low levels of this vitamin. And as we have seen, some vitamins such as B1 and C can have unexpected healing effects on the kidneys. So 
If there is one thing that it's 100% clear from today's video is that people with kidney problems need to supplement with a multivitamin, but a special one. The good news is that I've made a video comparing the best and safest brands of vitamins specifically made for kidney disease sufferers. And as a bonus, in this video, I've also shown how to recreate perfect vitamin doses using commercial brands in case you cannot find renowned multivitamins for sale. I really suggest you to watch it if you have missed it. It's up here. And a new video is coming next Tuesday as usual. And I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.